אלא מה שניתן נאמרו כללותיה פרטיה תחתיך ודקדוקיה בסיני, אף כולם נאמרו כללותיה פרטיהן ודקדוקיהן מסיני. כאן, כך שמי אבדור אסקו, right? So you want to tell you that just like all the other, all the mitzvah, the mitzvah of Shemitah, you notice the Torah goes out of its way to tell you how many years and what to do and what uh, the fields are and how much food you can eat, when you have to finish and so on and so on. Since that is mentioned in detail and the Torah is telling you that the details are said in Har Sinai, You want to learn from that that all the other mitzvot also were taught in detail in our city. Uh-huh. Okay? Not just a set of the brot in general, but also the pratim, the, the, in the, uh, the, the details. Mm-hmm. Now three. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. why, why is there a footnote? Oh, that's the second two. I'm sorry. Less a shot. Oh, Kirte Hen is not there. Okay. אוקיי, לא חשוב, לא חשוב, זה דיקשן, אוקיי? נראה לי שכך פירושו, לפי שלא מצינו שמיטת קרקעות שמשנית ועבוד מואב. אה! זה מעניין, נכון? אנחנו נראים And he gave them that mitzvot, right? Give them that mitzvot. And in the, those mitzvot, which Moshe delivers to the Jewish people there, he does not mention Shemitah. Well, then where, where was it said? It must have said in Har Sinai, because we know the mitzvot of Shemitah, right? Mm-hmm. So, it's la madu shekwa loteo, kutatea, kumam meru v'sinai, uba'a katu, v'meid kan, al kol dibur shemit bar li Moshe v'sinai, שמסיני היו כללותיהם ודיוקיהם וחזרו לשנים בערבות מואב, לשון רש"י, אוקיי? That's... Alright? So, so far, so good. ואינו נכון בעיניי, I don't believe. כלל, שהרבה מצוות כשמיטה שלא נשנו בערבות מואב, there are many מצוות that are not mentioned in, in מואב. שמיטה is not the only one. Right? ונדע בהם שנאמרו כלותיהם ובריתיהם מסיני או באוהל מועד and we know that all these מצוות were given in their details either, you notice by the way or he's, he's not too worried about saying that there everything was in Sinai, right? or in אוהל מועד השם gave Moshe מצוות as they went along and he would give them he would give Moshe the מצוות as they went along and he would give them to the people So Shemitah is not the only one that was not mentioned in Har Moab. There were other, mention, other mitzvot also that are not mentioned there. The Ode, Minayin Shehukshu Sha'ahadri Rosh, in the Shemitah Arvot Moab, Lashemitah, Velo Hayukul Atehem Misinayin Tutehem Arvot Moab. How do you know, he says, that, you, that just like Shemitah, we were making an assumption, he's saying that Shemitah gave all of its details in Har Sinai, then all the other mitzvot had to be the same way. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Maybe they were given in general in Har Sinai and given in their details in Arvot Ma'av or some other time. I mean, I, that was the question that I asked before. How do you know this principle that everything has to be in detail in Sinai? How do you know that? כללותיה, אבל, wait, אני אומר כי המשנות נשנו לבאר פרטיהם, כי לא נאמרו בסיני על הכללותיה. Right. You might say, on the contrary, right, that those things which are mentioned in our book will have, those which are mentioned in our book will have, Pinky, right? Mm-hmm. They are there. to give their details, and only their generality was given in our Sinai. I mean, in other words, there's such a thing as don't steal. Now, I'm going to tell you the details in our Rav about what happens if you steal. The, the double uh, payment and, uh, and the person gets uh, to be a servant if he doesn't have enough money and blah, 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 blah. How do you, how do you, know, how do you know that the, 
why, you know, the assumption the Gemara is saying is just because the Torah says Bahar Sinai is when we got all the details for Shemitah, all the mitzvahs have the details of Shemitah. Right? Okay. About Abraita Shemitah Torah can cure Shah. So, so, however, the, the only problem that Rabban has is that we just read, Rashi quoted the Mechilda, right? Mm-hmm. And Rashi says, he brought this Torah's going, right? What did it say? Just like Har Sinai gave all the details of, of Shemitah, so we learn, therefore, that all the mitzvot also got all their details in, in Har Sinai, right? So what am I going to do with the bright I mean, right? The Ramban says he doesn't agree, but what is he going to do with the text? So he's going to give you a different explanation when, of the text. When did the Ramban say that we learn the details of uh, some other mitzvot? Rashi said. Rashi quoted the Torah's going. And what is the Ramban saying? The Ramban saying he doesn't, he doesn't agree. What, what How do we know that that's what, so? That's it. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Every way that you like. He mentioned a few possibilities. One, some mitzvahs were given in, in, uh, in O.L. Moed and not in R.C. Nai. Some mitzvahs were only given in generalities early on in R.C. Nai and then given with details in Mohari Moab. Every way that you want. Let me answer something else. Um, was um, all the uh, details that are in Torah about Pet, were they uh, given in the given to Moshe? Yeah. It's a very complicated topic what that means, right? Mm-hmm. Did Moshe get did Moshe get from Hashem all the things that we learned in the Gemara and Zerah Shava and uh, and uh, and Hekesh and uh, things like that. Is it right from the start? So there's the Rambam talks about that in the Dhamma that says there's Ryan, right? To, to say there's Ryan. How to rush about they evolve? Does it evolve? Is it a matter of just remembering what was forgotten after Moshe got it anyway and recreating it and re- it re- relearning it from Yuman Midosha and the Torah Midrashah for him? I mean, if everything was given to Moshe, then we wouldn't need the Yuman Midosha, right? We would just Try to remember everything you yeah. said. Right? Oh, I you remember you heart. said something like that. Heart. Now I am gonna find it here I'm at this moment. So mm-hmm. that's so that's one of the things that people say is that the we go to our ways of reproducing that which Moshe got. Uh, you're asking a fundamental question about the Russia about that. Okay, I mean I'm not a good expert to describe it, but people talk about this a lot in which kind of how do we understand the creative process of the Russia about there if Moshe got it all. In what way is it created? Right. Just reproduce. Okay, but, but so far we're not talking about the Rosh Hashanah. The, the, the details, well, maybe. All the Klalot and Patim that the Torah says about Shemitah right here in our Baha'i. Right? Mm-hmm. The Torah wants to tell you this was said in Har Sinai. It goes out of its way. Right? So everybody asks the question why does the Torah go out of its way to tell you that this mitzvah was said in Har Sinai? So Torah's Kalanim says, it wants to t- the Torah wants to tell you that this is just one example of all the others. Just like this one was given all its details in Har Sinai, you should know that all the other mitzvot are in Har Sinai were given in the details, right? That's what Rashi quotes Torah's Kalanim as saying, the Brisa, right? The Ramban says, I don't know where they get this from, I don't know why, and I, I could see other combinations, and there's no truth in that. The problem is, what am I going to do with the Brisa who says it? So that's what the second line. El Abal Habraita Shnuya, the Torah is going to Peusha, I'm going to give you an explanation of that right. Barur, Shahashmita ne Amru Kalotea Misinai. Right? Diktib Pashat the Ele Mishpatim, Rashviit, Fishmetena Mishmet Mishtashta, Rafu Yunea Mecha Begomer. The Elu Dinea Shmita, the Derek Klau. Right? We have Shmita. This is not the first time Shmita is written. In Ishmaqim, he's going to give you the Parsha, huh? Uh, the 12. Shmot Chavgimu Yerav. Right, if you look at Shmot 23, 23, 11. 23, 11. The mitzvah of Shmita is mentioned. 
That's it. It doesn't say when you have to wait until everything is out of the field, the details, the details about how long you can eat it and so on. It doesn't give the details. But, but the general mitzvah of Shemitah is mentioned in Mishpati, right? Yeah. And here, the Torah goes out of its way to tell you, oh, in Har Sinai, Hashem said the following things, and it gives you details, mm -hmm. details, much more details about Shemitah than it said in Shemishpati, right? So the writer goes out of its way to tell you, right? Let's, let's read the text now. So he says, this is the explanation of the writer. Barur, it is clear, that Shemitah was Nimra Kvalotea, in general. In the general summary of Shemitah was mentioned already in Sinai because it was talked about in Mishpatim, which we just read, Bashmi Tishmitena Wind Tashta, Bakhlu Nadea Mechava Gomer, right? That's what we just read. The Elu Dinea Shmita Bader Klaal, but that was general. General. The Khan Khazar Ramar. So so now in Mishpatim it said a general. And now it's gonna give you the details. So if they didn't tell you Har Sinai here, if in our parsha it just says, God told Moshe the following details about, about uh, Shemitah, then you would think, okay, in Har Sinai, back in Shemishpati, he just gave him the general but Shemitah. Here but here he's is giving him the details, and it could be a year later, two years later. Yeah. Right? That's what you would say, what you if you would have it right away. Right. What you Excuse me? What you would fine, whenever, yeah. right? But... But since it says by the Ver Hashem and Moshe Behar Sinai, these details, the Torah, why would it be to, you, you see, the Ramban is going out of his way to try to explain. If you do the textual analysis, if you wanted to tell me all the details, right, of a mitzvah, then you would start in Mishpat. You would say, here's what you do, you have to have Shemitah. And here's how you do it. Shemitah and Shemitah. In, in Mishpat, was, was at the foot of Har Sinai. So anybody who would hear it there would say, oh yeah, Moshe just had it in Har Sinai, how to do Shemitah, right? But he didn't do that. He just told him the general principle. Later on, the Torah writes and says, you know what? Long ago I told you the general principles of Shemitah. Now I'm gonna tell you the details of Shemitah, but I want you to know, you know, I'm not just telling it to you now. I want you to know that these details I'm giving you now were told to be in Har Sinai. In what way? What do you mean in what way? Which way? Because, because we are in Moab, so later. So what? It says by the Ver Hashem and Moshe be Har Sinai they more. The Torah is telling you that this was said in Har Sinai. Har Sinai. They are standing now in Har Moab, but, but he's telling them, I'm giving you the details, which I got then. What did you mean the detail of the other ones? I don't know. We didn't get to that yet. But, but you know, if you, if, so why would the Torah write it like that? Why would yeah, the Torah write it like that? Give you the general principles right at Har Sinai, wait years later, and tell you, by the way, I want to give you details about this. Remember that mitzvah of Shemitah that I told you about long ago? I want to tell you the details of it. So you would say, oh, that's nice, you're filling it in now. But no, 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 I'm not filling it in now. I want you to know that I've known the details all along. I've just waited to tip it to you now because you're going in there, it's Israel now. It wasn't relevant for you, it's not practical. You're not, there's no Shemitah in the big bar. There's no Shemitah in the desert. So now that you're going into Eretz Yisrael, I'm going to give you the details. But don't think that Hashem just told me the details, or I am just making them up. I want you to know the details I'm giving you now were told to me at Har Sinai. They're just, this is the right time to deliver it to you. You say there. Mm -hmm. So that's why the Torah writes it that way. Now, why would the Torah write it that way? Because, let's go on. And here, Chazar ve'amar ki b'har Sinai od nemru kol prateha prateha. Sharei kulam nizkiru parsha azot. All the details are mentioned in this parsha. He wants them to know that he got it in Har Sinai. Uvesof ha'inyan ketiv ele ha'mitzvot asher tziva Hashem Moshe of Nei Israel b'har Sinai. Where is the besof? Thirteen. These are the commandments that Hashem commanded them in Har Sinai. Thirteen. Chav Zayin Lamedal, 27, go forward here in our parsha. 27, Lamedal, 
Did I say that? Chavzayin, Chavzayin, Lamedal. Yes, I did. In the end of this parsha of the Chukotai, two parshios, Chavzayin Lamedal. At the end of Ayikra, the very last pasuk of Ayikra, Eile Hamitzot. Are you ending? Keep going. Twenty-seven, chapter twenty-seven. The end of Ayikra, chapter twenty-seven. Keep going. Yeah, Ayikra, not not Mishpatim. Ayikra. No, I'm not responding. Ayikra, Ayikra, Ayikra. Keep going. Keep going. The very end of Ayikra. Keep going. The very end of Ayikra. Keep going. There. Oh. What's the last pasuk? Uh, this is the command of Hashem commanded Moses to the children of Israel in months and months. And Hashem, whoa! Yeah. But, um, right? Mm -hmm. So, so why would the Torah say, Hashem in the heart, in the heart? This, that's, by the way, several Rocky. But well, we are in Moab. In the heart, it said, in, in the heart, it says that Hashem spoke to him in Har Sinai the following details of Shemitah. At the end of Bahar Pekuhotai, it says that these are all the mitzvot that Hashem told him in Moshe in Har Sinai. Mm -hmm. Repeating that again. Lehakish. Lehakish. Why does the Torah repeat it twice? Lehakish kol mitzvot el ashmita haniskeret shikulam ayu kain shneemru b'klal uprat v'hakol misinai. V'chein shalu sham b'torat kohanim ele hamitzvot ein nabi rashai ili lechadish ol davar miata. Asher Tzibah Hashem et Moshe, Kedai HaShaliach HaShemcho, et Moshe al Bnei Yisrael, Zechut Yisrael Garma, Behar Sirai, Shikulam Nehu, Bisinai, Ad Kam Tor Esman. Okay, and again, we need to see why this Shmita multiplies the whole Nehemiah and Israel. But there are many other Shmita's that were just as practical then. Right? Yeah. So why would we wait to tell them the details now? Yeah. By the way, we are not standing on... We're not standing... We made a mistake. They're not standing on Har Moab. They're, so they're, still, the they're still at the end of the year in front of R C Nine. So they hold... We, 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 we Bamidbar is starting. And Bamidbar, Hashem tells the people, okay, we're finished with this year in, in front of R C Nine. You were forgiven, forgiven, and I gave you the second Bukhot. We built the Mishkan. I gave you many mitzvot, and now we're going to Eretz Israel. That comes next. We have, yes. They have not come to Armoah. Oh, 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 they're oh, not there. Oh, 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 oh. No. No, this is by Yikra. Uh, we're just a bamboozled in our time. No. No. Moab was mentioned only because at the end of the book of, of, uh, of Bamidbar, they're standing at Harsina at, at Moab, and they're getting a new breach, and there, Shmita is not mentioned. That, that Rashi brought in the context. But no, no. They're, they're standing on RC9. Right? Okay. Right. They're standing on RC9, which is in the, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the Sinai Peninsula. Right? That's why it's called the Sinai Peninsula. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we don't even know where RC9 really is, except that whole peninsula is called RC, uh, Sinai, Sinai Peninsula. I think that's an interesting. Some Christian must have done that. Because. <laughs> Anyway, very interesting. There is a there is a suspicion, a superstition maybe that uh, they know where it's not the place. You know, the, cool. the Christians have a oh, Santa Catarina, uh, Santa Catarina. They have a place. And there's a there's a mosque and there's a and there's a church. church. Yeah. And you can walk up there. Judy once went with a group of uh, nature types of people. They went through the Sinai. They came to this place and woke up at dawn and they walk up this mountain. She okay. found the, the brush and the, the bush. The, the, the bush was still burning. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so there's no telling, I mean, where that is. As a matter of fact, there are some archaeologists who feel that it's completely off base that it's somewhere else. Yeah. But uh, as a matter of fact, some people think that it's actually down in the Gaza before you get into Israel itself, right at the border where the Philistines were, because Hashem turned them about instead of going to the Philistines, and they went to Arsinai within 30 days. So, uh, they feel that it's much down closer to Arsinai. Down the peninsula? No. Not in there. It's towards the Elat. Towards the Elat. Yeah. Towards the south of Israel. Yeah. South so, of this, uh, this is a mis uh, misunderstanding. No, 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 no. We don't know. 
You don't. This is so far. Is your, is your not so far from Israel. Israel. No, no, but, but not from Israel when, because, because by the way, when Hashem tells them in Har Sinai, listen, we're going to Israel, right? We're going to Israel. Moshe wants to remind them when he's about to die after 40 years of being passed. He said, we were 10 days walk from Eretz Israel once upon a time. And you remember what happened when we were 10 days walk from Eretz Israel. With 10 days we could have gotten there and instead it's 40 years now and we're about to go to Eretz Israel. What happened? You had the Maragalim and you rebelled and the, 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 the right to Moshe tells them. So they are now, when Hashem tells them let's go to Israel, it's a walk of 10 days, 10 days hike to get to Eretz Israel. Yeah, that's so, so that's that. probably closer than than uh, the you know, and we're talking about three million people are going to have to walk with their children for ten days to get there. I don't think it's something like that. No, no, it's they, so wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to get there. So. Anyhow, fine, yes. but so it's not important. But but so the Torah goes out of its way, he says, to tell you the details of Shmita and tell you that it is an Har Sinai that they were told. And at the end of the parsha, it says, and these are all the mitzvot, Mishpatim and Vayikra, all the mitzvot that I've told you now, were said to Moshe in Har Sinai. So, the two statements, Har Sinai, Har Sinai, one for Shemitah and one for all the mitzvot, the Torah Sconi, that price I was trying to tell you, they were told in the same manner, in the same way, just like Shemitah was told in all of its details. So all the other mitzvot are told all of its details. Even if you will learn of the details later on, they are told to Moshe and Arsina. Mm -hmm. Because of the way the Torah says, But, but he said to Moshe and Moshe kept, kept them, kept some of them. So later he told them and told them later. Yeah, yeah. Maybe in the Kabbalistic way. Whatever, whatever reason. Better. People have to be ready for some mitzvot, though. Whatever, whatever. I don't know why you would choose some mitzvot to give the details now and some mitzvot later. I don't know. That's a good question. <coughs> Your question was right. The Shemitah, I understand why he made one away. But here he didn't. They're still in, in Har Sinai, at the foot of Har Sinai, mm -hmm. and Hashem tells them all the details. So I, I don't know. It's a good question to understand why the delivery to the people would be according to a certain timing. It's a good question. A lot of it's also been told, though, right? Uh, Emor and Kedoshim, right? Akhari Mos Kedoshim, a tremendous number of it's told. So a lot of it's told were told already. Some could be, it could be because you remember when we read the Torah, sometimes we read uh, faster, we kept what we read, but don't understand probably what we read. Maybe a year later, two years, ten years later, we, oh, I got it. Elaborate, to elaborate, to explain it to them better. Yeah, could be the way. Okay, all right, now, so, so, so far, that's what he's trying to say. Now, about, now let's talk about our Rod Moab, all of a sudden, since our Rod Moab was mentioned, which happens a long time later, 40 years later, there in our yeah. Rod Moab, okay? So far, so good. So he says, about our Rod Moab, Words, what's going on in our Lord Moab? If we say the following, we have said until now that all of the details were told to Moshe and Harsina. He told them to prepare to these people. Oh. So, 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 so the question is, what does our Lord Moab got to do? Right? So he says like this, Moshe got all the details in Har Sinai, but he was told on our road Moab before they come to Eretz Israel, now is the time to explain it to people, to the children. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very interesting use of the word, Lavanim. Because most of the time, Ra'am would be said, no? Levayer. Levayer, Levayer. Like a Jew. Levayer, 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 so far so good. Okay. 
עניין הפרטוי הוא שבשמיטה הבעלים הוא מקום המצוות, בלשון קצת, קצר נקט, ויען שהמלמד בוודאי הוא עיקר יותר מן הלמד, לכן נקט הטענה למילתא לשמיטה שהוא המלמד, ולא באלה המצוות שהוא הנלמד מן השמיטה. או oh בואי. כן נראה לי בזה כפתור בפרח. What's he trying to say? That Shemitah really got all of the details and the other mitzvot, he waited to explain it to them at Har Sinai, at Har Moab. Do you understand what he's trying to say? אבל עניין הגודל מה שנצטרך שם משה לבער התורה לבנים לבער In other words, when we learn from our parsha that everything was told to Moshe and Arsina, that's true but when he was commanded to explain it to the people was later like you said right? I mean, if you take it simply that's what he's trying to say, right? The Torah wants here to tell you that the authority of these details is Har Sinai. All the details of all the mitzvot were delivered to him in Har Sinai. But now, he's going to explain it to them. He's told to explain it to them. I'm not sure what the Muke Yosef Shmuel wants to say. כך נראה לי, פטור הפרח. בעניין הפרשה הזאת שנכתב בכאן, אמר רב אלעזר, כי זאת הברית הכתובה בפרשה. פרשת אלה המשפטים, ושקיבלו כל על נפשם נעשה ונשמע, אז נכתב הברית. ואמר להם כל הפרשה הזאת, והזכירה במקום הזה לחבר תנאי, תנאי הארץ. כי כאשר אמר על האריות כי בעבורם תקיא אותה בארץ, כך אמר פרשת בית וחוקותיי, אם רבותיי ישבו את הארץ, והוא צריך תחילה להסביר השבתות. אוקיי, זה זה אבן עזרא, נכון? הוא קורא את אבן עזרא, הוא אומר The truth is, we already have a breed, right? At right. Mishpatim, when they stood at Har Sinai, right. they said, Naseh and Yishma, and they became God's people. And he said, I will take care of you, you do my mitzvot, and everything will be good, right? So that is already the breed. What's going on now at the end is he told them all the mitzvot, and he wanted to connect the... They are going from here, remember, next page, after Yikra, after, uh, they're going to Eretz Israel, right? Except for, yeah. we don't know yet about the Barak, right? Right now they're going to Eretz Israel. So he wants to be, the end of the day is that you're going into Eretz Israel because of this breed. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you that I'm going to put in two things that are in the conditions that you will be able to go to Eretz Israel. One of them is the Shemitah, mm -hmm. because the Shemitah shows that you recognize that the land is, doesn't just belong to you, but the God who gave you this land. That's what Shemitah rec recognizes, right? But if the land is mine, I don't have to dedicate it to God once every seven years and let it go. I control it the way I want to. I take, keep, keep growing, make money, do whatever I want to do, right? So Shemitah means this is a Shabbat. The seventh year is a Shabbat, just like you have a Shabbat in the days of the week. You have a Shabbat on the land. Shabbat means that you're not the one who got the land for yourself, the land is given to you by God, right? So that's one condition of getting into Eretz Israel is that you realize who gave it to you. Okay? And the other condition that he gave them was the arayot, the, the, all the sexual profanities and terrible things that were done by the people who lived there until now. Incest and people grabbing other people's wives and sisters and brothers and so on, right? That's what defiled the land. Mm -hmm. When you come into this land, I want you to know that if you do that, then you will lose the land. The condition of being in the land is that you live those, that kind of a pure life, right? Two things, Shemitah and Arayat are central to getting the land. That's why the end of the book of Ayikra ended with those two things. One of them was the Arayot, which we learned two parshiot ago, right? Erachoyimot. <laughs> and the other one is uh, now Shemitah to cap off their mitzvot and readiness to go to Eretz Israel. That's the Ibn Ezra, right? At the bottom of the page. Okay, uh, but, uh, take in mind that uh, the 
four generations has passed or close to no. pass. No. Because in 40 years, no. later, no, this is not. We are going to enter. No, it is Israel. No. I just said we don't know anything about the miraculous. This is before. This That's is the one end of the explanation. Of, I no, no, it's the, the end of one you year. People, you have to explain it. Hey, we received this, this word from Hashem. Hasina, you were not there, but. Uh, no, I, no, no, no. That's later. We are, we are only. That's, that's over here. Yeah. We're over here. We are at the end of the one year since, since coming out of Israel. Oh. Second Pesach. That's mm -hmm. where they are now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because, I told you, look at this. Yeah. So Bamidbar oh, starts. Oh, oh, Bamidbar right. starts. Hashem says to Moshe, Bahar Sinai, go to Eretz Israel on the second year. Mm -hmm. That's the way Bamidbar starts, right after this. By the bear, Moshe, Hashem and Moshe, Bamidbar Sinai, be oil no aid. Be'echad la'chodesh ha'sheni, on the first day of the month of the second month, which is E-R, yeah. six days ago. Ha'v'ashana mm ha'sheni, -hmm. on the second year of their going out of Mitzrayim, lay more. Se'u et rosh kol adat me'israel, I want you to count the people, make an army, we're going. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's what we're here talking about, that's what we're now discussing. And he wants to tell them we're going to Eretz Israel. You and I have read the book, so we know, oh, big tragedies are going to happen there. But the intention was to go right now. Mm -hmm. If they would have not listened to the miraculous, they would be in Eretz Israel ten days later. A catastrophe, right? But anyway, so so he says the Ibn Ezra wanted to say that that's the way he understands this book of Ayikra. Starting from the Brit in Har Sinai in Shmot, in Mishpatim, he gave them all these mitzvot, all of them really belong with the people, but he wanted to end it with Shemitah and Arayot as a general topic that uh, they are the conditions for them to have Eretz Israel. All right, that's the, that's the Ebenet, right? But the Ramban says, my opinion is, The truth is, oh, that's interesting. He thinks that the Ebenet Ezra <laughs> He thinks that the Ibn Ezra believes that these mitzvot were actually told them at the time in Mishpatim. And that the Torah is only writing it now in order to remind us that we own Eretz Israel because of those two things. Because you see, the, from the objection of the Ramban, you could see that that's what Ibn Ezra thought, right? Because he says, no, 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 I don't like this Mugdam and Mugdhar business. I think it was written in order. That means all the other mitzvot that come until this parsha were told one after the other, after the other, after the other, and now before they're going to Eretz Israel, at the end of the year, he's getting, he's giving them the mitzvah of this, of this one. Why? Ki perush behar Sinai, ve'aloto sham lekabel luchot What do we mean that God gave him these mitzvot at the top of Har Sinai? It means the second Lord. rising, the second rising up. Right? The second rising of the earth is to Har Sinai, to get the Luchot. That will be Urayyan, Kibit Hilat Arbaim Yom, Arishonim, Shal Luchot Arishonot, Katav Moshe, Besefer Abit, et Kol Divrei Hashem, et Kol Amishpatim, and Emrim Sham. All the mitzvot which were then mentioned in Mishpatim were written by Moshe when he went up the first time. Mm -hmm. He thinks, remember, the Ramban doesn't like. Uh, Compositions mm -hmm. tell you, oh, what's happening later is really before. He, he likes it according to the order. You read the Torah, mm -hmm. that's what happens. Except for a few exceptions. He, he sometimes breaks the rules, but, mm -hmm. but when he has no choice. But Moshe is called up to Har Sinai. Hashem speaks to him and gives the Aser that he broke. The people hear. He goes up and he stays for 40 years, for 40 days, right? And in that place, he gives them the he gives them mitzvot. Him mitzvot. Which mitzvot? Well, just keep reading. He comes down from Har Sinai, right? And he tells the people, Mishpatim, mm -hmm. if you have an Ebed, you have to free him at the end of six days, and if somebody steals, you da 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 And he tells them, in general, he tells them about the Shemitah there, correct? Mm -hmm. And he makes the Brit, he makes the covenant with the people. And when they sinned with the calf, and Ishparu al it's as though the covenant is broken. Mm -hmm. Okay? Cancelled. Mm -hmm. And when Hashem forgave them and brought them back at the second Luchot, a new covenant, 
שנאמר, הנה אנוכי קוראי ברית, there is actually a sentence there, In, today I'm making a ברית with you. והחזיר שם המצוות החמורות שנאמרו בסדר ואל המשפטים בברית הראשונה. And he, he reinstated all the מצוות, imagine, imagine, after the ego, according to the Ramban, not just the relationship was finished with Hashem, mm-hmm. but the מצוות. Mm-hmm. So if you have no ברית with Hashem, then you have no מצוות either, mm-hmm. you're just, you just go be an Egyptian, right? Go, uh, go back to where you came from. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. He has to reinstate the mitzvot, not just the breed. Oh, boy. The breed, oh. The breed contains the mitzvot. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah, he says, I, I, I need correct breed, which, which, which includes all the mitzvot as conditions, right? See, if you don't have a breed with Hashem, you also don't have a mishpati, mm-hmm. okay? And, and then, so he, inter- he puts the me'el mishpati in Berit HaRishonah, he reinstates them, v'amar. כתוב לך את הדברים האלה על פי הדברים האלה קראתי איתך ברית ואת ישראל. ורצה הקדוש ברוך הוא להחמיר עליהם בברית הזאת השנייה, שתהיה עליהם בעלות ובקללות, שתהיה ושתהיה כראשונה על כל מצוות הראשונות ועל כל המשפטים כמו שנאמר בברית הראשונה. את כל דברי השם ואת כל המשפטים. ולפיכך אמר בכאן, בסוף התוכחות, אלה החוקים המשפטים, התורות אשר נתן השם בינו בין הר סיני ביד משה, not that they're told now, right? But Hashem, at the end of taking them back and giving them the same, the second luchot, and showing them that they're forgiven by making the mishkan, and then telling them, listen, I'm making a breach again with you, but I want you to know if you misbehave, you're going to have terrible things happening to you, and if you do, find that you're going to be rewarded. That's coming up after our parsha, the Har B'chukotai, right? There's going to be the curses and the rewards coming up next week, right? Mm-hmm. And he wanted them to hear that, and he said that it's on all these mish- mishpatim and mitzvot, which I had told you the first time you went up to the mountain, they are reinstated now. But Raman said that uh, upon them by means of oaths and curses. So yeah. that means that the, the, the Brit Hadarcha, the, the first, that was no the... They didn't have the, so much warnings, right? Right. Right. If you be keeping all these results, then you will be for me a kingdom of priests. It would be more easy. And a holy people. And a holy people. I don't know if it's easy. He took for granted that they were going to do what he wanted them to do. He didn't have to, he didn't have to give them such warnings. <laughs> no, after, 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 they, after they messed up with the Egel, he wants to give them the breach back, but he's telling you, I want you to know, yeah. <laughs> this is your last chance. This is your last chance. First time, he didn't have to warn them because he, he just took the out of each line. They're married. When you get married, you tell your wife, I want you to know I'm marrying you, but if you misbehave and you become disloyal, I'm going to kill you. Do you say that at the time of marriage? <laughs> right? But after you have a falling out and you get together again, yeah, and you yeah. have to say, listen, this is serious. That's right? This is serious. I mean, it happened already, right? So we have to be... All right. But all the mitzvot are now reinstated. It's not that he's telling them new mitzvah. Oh, yeah. At the second time. So remember those mitzvot I told you? They were canceled. Now yes. we're coming back. And I want you to know, not only coming back, but coming back with very strict. You should be right. right. So in the first time, in Mishpatim, when the Torah says in, in Mishpatim, the Torah, the mitzvah of Shmita, only in general, mm-hmm. as a summary, Right? which we read in Mishpatim. Right? And now the, the Shemitah is said in very great detail. Right? Right? The first time he went up, Hashem also told him about Mishkan. And when he was forgiving them, Then when he came down at the first time, it was just general about the Mishkan. I'm going to make a home about, among you, right? And he killed Moshe at Kol Adat Meisrael, and he said to him, as a beginning, then at the end, when he comes back, he tells them what I told you before about all those things, that he said to him, 
והנה קיבלו הדבר בשמחה, ויצאו מלפניו, ומיד, ובאו כולם ונתנו הנדבה, ועשו המשכן והשלימו נפתו, right? The big exciting moment for them was that in the second breed, the second time he went up on the mountain, when he came down, he said, Hashem has forgiven you, and he's given you all these mitzvot again, and remember we were going to make the mishkan, now, and Hashem told you no, now he's telling you yes, go ahead and make, make the mishkan, just like we told you before, they came very enthusiastically, you now very excited, because the mishkan was a sign to them that God has forgiven them, right, together. When the Kasher who come, what? But we don't made a, a party after hear that Hashem forgiven us. Because so they fame, you know? Maybe they did. Huh? Maybe, maybe they did. They At the end of Yom Kippur, maybe they did uh, make a party. I don't know. I you don't, they were very happy because they came and they made the Mishkan right away. And Hashem came down to his dwell. It says that all the people called out and uh, hurrah. I mean, I think it was a party. Okay, the Kasheru come, Biyad. A year plus since. Since that Yom Kippur. And so maybe we we'll, um, the party was at the end when Hashem actually came down so, um, to dwell in it, right? Oh, so when was Yom Kippur? The Egel was back then. The Egel was right after Shavuot, 40 days after Shavuot. You'd give the Shavasa of the right. And then they are doing tshuva, all kinds of things, until Yom Kippur. He goes up to Yom Kippur and he gets the second Luchot. And then after that? After that, 40 days later, he comes down. And he tells them, okay, we're going to make the Mishkan. Okay. And all the mitzvot. And the Brit is back so, with you. So all this, all this time, a um, considerable amount of time passed. To build the Mishkan. To build, but that's also to get the, the mitzvot. To get, well, he gave them mitzvot, remember, in Mishpatim, at the first time. All, all the mitzvot? Uh, at least he says in general details, yeah, he gave it to them. But then they were cancelled because of the, of the ego. Yeah, but, uh, because of the ego which followed that. Okay, so then, so, so now... Um, now he's telling them, you know, all those mitzvot you had, they're back. They're back. But, but, but when did he tell them about that, the, the, all the mitzvot? After, after coming back with the second Luchot. He's telling them that they're reinstated. But uh, what did he teach them the details? Well, he taught them the details now. Shemitah, for example, is all the details now, I suppose. He, he said later on that all the other mitzvot, even in Har Moab, he was, ex- he was told to explain it to them in greater detail. I don't know. You're asking about how many details he gave them? I don't know. He's trying to set the... Uh, he's, know, we're, we're trying to get the feeling... I'm looking for a long period of time when he could have taught them details. Um, how much time he would need to do that, you mean? Yeah. Was there, was there a long period of time to teach them? Was there? Uh, hmm. He is making it sound pretty short, right? Mm-hmm. That when he came down and he reestablishes, renews the breed, he tells them all these mitzvot. Again, because he told it to them in Mishpatim. Kasher right. Ukan, and when the, and they finished the work, right? And when the Mishkan was stood, stood up, Miyad Vayikrayan Moshe Vayidaber Hashem Moshe Me'ar Moed, with Sivahu Bekorbanot Bekol Torat Kohanim, and so he gave them then the mitzvot of all the, the, um, the way the Kohanim behave and the rituals of the Mishkan. U Moshe Tzivah Kol El Aaron, He's trying to give you the history, right? And Moshe then tells Aaron how to do the things in the Mishkan, and when he finished giving those commandments about the Mishkan, And while I'm at it, let me tell you that while I was up there, the second time, yes, the second time, Hashem told me to renew and explain to you the details of all the mitzvot and Shemitah that this new covenant is set up. So if you want to to understand it, He actually did it now. Mishpatim was after the first going up on Arsinai, when He gave them the mitzvot in 
not in detail, but in, uh, in generalities, didn't have a chance to go further because of the Egel, and everything is in, uh, completely suspended. Mm -hmm. Then he's finally there forgiven, he goes up to R.C. 9, he comes down, he tells them about how to make the Mishkan, because that's the way Hashem is going to come back with you, right, to be with you. And then when he was finished, he said to the people, Remember when I didn't have a chance even to explain all those things to you when I first told them to you in, in Mishpatim? I had all the details from Hashem there, right? right? But I didn't give it to you then. I want to give it to you now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for this new covenant. Yes. So you, the you, 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 you ask the question, he see, the Ramban Dao says that that's what he did now. Right. At the end of Ayikra. Right. Oh, sorry, you, you asked about the party. He's at, at the Ramban is asking another question. If there was such a special ritual about the blood being sprinkled on the people and making this new covenant, then, right, and that was cancelled because of the ego, so why not do it again now? You're a new, a new covenant, right? So make a new covenant the way you did it before. He says he doesn't have to do that. Why? Right? The truth is, it's not a new covenant. They are renewing the old covenant. The old covenant. But this time, their old covenant is with a vow, with swearing. They, uh, we, we swear to be allegiance to this right. before. We know we did something wrong before. We know that there will be consequences if we if we uh, do something wrong with this Brit and we reject Hashem. And right? the way that they show but it's us the same old making, one. The, making the tabernacle. Uh, making the tabernacle is the way that, all right, right. V'zetam asher natan Hashem beino uvein v'nei Yisrael v'har Sinai. In Chabad. This is the covenant that Hashem made between him and the Jewish people in har Sinai. Ki hu en oten lahem bivrit azot. He is now giving them this breed. Ki machal lahem, because he forgave them, al pi atnaim ha'elu, according to these conditions, kemoshe perashti v'sof kitisa. V'chein brit avot, oh, so far so good, right? So far so good. So you're asking me about the practicality of explaining all the details to them so immediately at that time? It's a good question, I mean, right? How much detail did he actually tell? Then he says, v'chein, brit avot mo'ab, kein haya. You want to know what happened then? Is that a completely new breed? How come he didn't have any blood then? Just sprinkle on. Says Cain Ayam, Shekiblu Alehem HaTorah VeAlot Ruklalot Ahem VeHi HaBreed. When you have a breed, it means that you are swearing to a to fulfill a, a contract that you have with somebody, and you know that if you, I, I swear to you that I'm going to do it, and if I, and I accept on myself that if I don't. Do it, and if I cancel it, I will be punished. I am responsible with my life. Uh, for uh, right? And that's the breach. A bunch of punishment. punishment. Yes. Mm -hmm. In addition to the covenant he gave in Har Sinai, the Emet Amrus Chazal should be tnai ha'aretz hashmita v'hayovel kashe yaskir v'tochachot. And that's why, and he agrees with the Ibn Ezra to a degree, right? That it's mentioned now at this time of the second covenant at Har Sinai because the Shemitah is really conditional, very important condition. The Navi Yirmiyahu and Yeshayahu mentioned a few times that they're exiled from the land of Israel when they are misbehaving and very bad. One of the great crimes that they did is that they didn't do the Shemitah. Mm -hmm. And when you go out and I send you away, then the land will rest, the land, uh, a rest for God, right? In other words, the, the uh, violation of Shemitah is a very, very serious contradiction. I mean, you know, why, why, is, why is Shemitah such a terrible contradiction? I mean, stealing, lying, doing so many things is, is a contradiction also. But the Shemitah is a real contradiction of the, of the land of Israel being given to you by God. You have a purpose here to be here. It's not because you own it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And Shemitah mm -hmm. is, a, is a testimony to that. If you break the Shemitah, then you're saying, you know, God doesn't have anything to do with this land. I don't have to worry about him, you know. I don't owe him anything. He's not the boss. Just like Shabbat in our weekday, mm -hmm. right? He's the creator of the world. 
Shab Shemitah in the week is he is the creator and the giver of this land. We have it on condition to fulfill our role, our job here, not just because he gave us a present. Right? So those two things are, uh, are conditional for the land. That's why it's mentioned again here at the end. According to the Eben Ezra, he thinks it's mentioned here at the end because Hashem gave it to them at the end. And it's not Kaseder, remember? So the Ramban objects to Ein Bukdam Mulchak. According to the Ramban, it was given in details to Moshe right away, but, and he told it to them in summary, but he didn't have a chance to go on because of the Egel. Now he goes up to the top of the mountain again, gets the chance to give them the Brit again, the same one that they had before is renewed. While he's at it, he tells them, here's the sign that you are being forgiven. Let's make the Mishkan. They're all very excited. They make the Mishkan right away. And then at the end of that, Hashem says, okay, I am going to establish with you a covenant like the one that I had done before at Har Sinai. And now Moshe gives them and reminds them, remember those mitzvot I told you then? Here are their details. And one of them is Shemitah. But not that I'm getting it now from God. I got it before from God, yes? Mm -hmm. But I'm telling it to you now, according to the Ramban, also at the end because... I want you to know that you're going to go into the land of Israel. That's part of the covenant. And the Shemitah is part of the very important condition of the, co of the covenant to get the land of Israel. Which, which, well, the Ebenezer mentioned that. The Ramban didn't repeat that. Here. Just, you're right. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, right? It, it, because the Torah does say, I want you not to do these things because it's because of these things that I am sending out those people from the land. So that's a pretty easy one to to connect with the condition of the land, right? I mean, because if you do that, then you know that the land is going to spit you out, right? So, yeah, and the so, land is going to be defined for the uh, yeah, yeah. Yim. yeah, somehow, because this is God's land, it is much more sensitive to crimes. You can do all kinds of crimes in America, but you don't get spit out. Yeah. The land of Israel cannot tolerate According to the, the way the Torah talks about the land of Israel, and the Rambam mentions it many times in the being, it cannot tolerate uh, like the land's crying out for the blood of Cain uh, killing Hebel. You know, it's just, it's just uh, because it's a holy land, it cannot tolerate certain terrible crimes. Either the, the land of, of, of uh, Saddam. When he heard. Yeah, so Dome is there in Israel, I guess. So it's, well, again, it can't, can't tolerate. You can have Sodom in uh, Cambodia, but you can't have Sodom in Israel. Mm -hmm. Right. I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess. Sooner or later, people get their. So Jews today, right. how can we reconciliate uh, the Shemitah and the people uh, working on Eretz Israel and the farmers? We do. Uh, we do. Uh, not the the all the people. people. Not all the people. Well, uh, you ask me why some people are not religious and don't care about Shemitah? Most of the people are doing yeah, Last year was a big debate about the Rabbanin and uh, hey, we're gonna, what we want to make with these people that doesn't want to keep the Torah and the, the land of Israel, so it's not easy. Well, if you were, if you were Boka Haran, you would go and kill them all who don't do it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Uh, so, so you have you have a lot of teaching to do. You have a lot of inspiring to do. What do you mean? What are you going to do with these people? It's not my job to do something with these people. It's my job to be a good example, to teach, to 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 try to live a life that will attract other people. I mean, you would have my job, not my job to punish time, anybody. Yes, but in the time of, uh, for example, the first temple and the second temple. They were good people. Uh, Sadiqim, a lot of Sadiqim. But you were there? <laughs> I was there. Mm, so, and you too, I think you too. So I don't remember. And um, I lost it. no, all the, all the people were uh, Russia. Just read the, read the prophets and see how they are terribly uh, criticizing. Make it sound yeah. like uh, they make it sound like everybody. How do you know that there were many righteous people? Because you were told this. Because we learn from some legendary material, the Kabbalah. So, so. no, no, the Kabbalah. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the Navi is very simple, right? 
You walk in the streets and you see blood flowing of righteous people and you guys are all corrupt. And your judges, and your judges are, uh, are corrupt and nobody listens to the orphan and the uh, poor and the uh, mana. And the, so just read the chapters. Horrible, horrible society. I think it's, I don't know who likes to write about this. Oh, there were tzaddikim, they just didn't love each other the way yeah, they should. Yeah, trying to justify it. I know people say this, but I don't, I don't get it. You know, all I have to do is read, read the prophet. Yeah. Do I have to add some information to that? I mean, if I have the prophet in front of me, what's the problem? Why? You are all full of fornicators and thieves. Mm -hmm. And from the kings and from the officers and from the people in the street and uh, everybody, uh, just listen to them. I, I, do I have to quote them? Open up Isaiah, open up Yerubiyama, open up Amos. I mean, nobody there says everybody's a deacon, and uh, only a few people are not good. We are much better today than they were then. I think so. Thank God. Right. Thank God. That's why we don't have a, the, the kind of destruction that could be. Uh, Thank you, uh, Adoni. Adoni.